Hi everyone. I was asked by a few people uh, online in Facebook in a Facebook group to explain uh, how I created this list of 1,000 websites using the plugin AAWP um, and how I compared um, today's traffic with the traffic of those websites uh, one year ago. It's the estimated uh, organic traffic as estimated by uh, Substat. The way I did it was first uh, to uh, curate, to compile a list of 1000 websites. I started on BuiltWith, builtwith.com. On BuiltWith, you can uh, search uh, by uh, software name and uh, retrieve uh, lists of uh, websites using a specific software. As you can see, there are uh, a bit more than uh, 40,000 websites worldwide currently using uh, AAWP, that's a huge number. Uh, I don't remember how many there were when I downloaded the list a few months ago, but uh, probably less. I downloaded the list and then uh, I filtered uh, the list by uh, Tranco uh, rankings. Um, they are providing you, when you download the CSV, uh, with the Tranco ranking of each of those websites. So Tranco is a project uh, which ranks uh, websites based on a series of, uh, of rankings. So they're, they're using uh, Alexa, uh, Cisco Umbrella, Majestic and Quancast. And they frequently update a list of uh, 1 million websites. You can also use their API if you want to um, search the specific ranking of a website here. So that was provided in the CSV of BuiltWith. So I was able to filter uh, by uh, ascending uh, Tranco rank. So starting with um, the most popular website uh, and, then, and then going down the list uh, 1,000 uh, 1, uh, websites uh, lower. Um, and that's how I created this list, which I used in the first column, in the domain column of my uh, Google Sheet. And so I just pasted the list uh, in the first column. And then I used uh, Integromat. Let me search for my Integromat scenario right here. I used Integromat to connect my Google Sheet uh, to uh, the Substat API. So Substat, uh, which is a competitor to Ahrefs and SEMrush, um, as an API which enables you to get uh, uh, some uh, historical data about uh, a specific domain or a list of domains. Uh, that's the documentation which I will leave in the comments below for uh, the API. You have to sign up for a premium plan to get access to the API, uh, but it's um, it's far less expensive than the Href or the SEMrush API, and uh, you get fairly good data to be uh, to be honest. So I just followed the documentation of this uh, API to create the API call in my Integromat scenario. So the first uh, module that I used was Google Sheets, uh, just to, uh, to, paste, uh, to paste my list uh, of domains, uh, and I created those columns, so the latest date, uh, uh, today's traffic. I also have a hidden column here, so I can maybe show it. Yes, roughly one year ago. Uh, it's, it, it's closer to 11 months, actually. Uh, and then the traffic one year ago and the progress, which is just a formula uh, dividing uh, this number today by uh, the traffic one year ago. So yeah, so let me just leave it like this to show you how it goes. So the first module is just to watch uh, the rows in a list uh, and you've got to also um, configure it so that you can analyze more than one uh, line at a time. So here I set a limit at 1001 after obviously uh, testing it with uh, uh, with uh, one or two lines. Uh, then you can choose uh, just a, a quick uh, a quick demonstration here. You can choose where to start when you launch your um, uh, your scenario. So you can start with the first uh, in your list uh, and then and then uh, move. Uh, 
uh, move to the last one automatically. Uh, the second uh, module is uh, a module provided by Integromat, uh, which, is which is called an HTTP module. There are different uh, types of HTTP modules. This one is, I think, the most simple uh, in the list. You just have to use uh, the uh, API, the URL of uh, of, um, of the API right here, okay, uh, and uh, choose select uh, as a method post, and then just follow uh, those instructions here, like the, the content type would be JSON, and then you uh, you paste basically what you can see in the documentation right here. You see right here so you have to uh, declare the method that will be used uh, for uh, for this call so it's uh, get domains history like this and then in the parameters uh, the domain will be the domain from uh, from the spreadsheet um, so this is a dynamic parameter it will change for each line obviously uh, then here you've got to uh, choose the right uh, uh, geo for uh, um, the Google search engine. Uh, so depending on your list, uh, you might have a list uh, also of uh, French websites, for instance. So then you will choose uh, Google uh, France and, and not Google US. But here I wanted to analyze uh, the results for Google US. Uh, and just a, a quick detail. So um, you pay for, I mean, you you you, you use a credit uh, of the uh, Substat API each time you get a result. Uh, so um, a date and um, uh, and traffic number uh, corresponding to the date is one unit of result. So if you want to have two day two dates and and two uh, uh, data points for the traffic for today and, and roughly one year ago, you will consume two uh, two credits, two API credits. You could also do it with one API call instead of two, but then by default, the API will just um, send you up to 25 results for each call. So we'll get uh, the result for today and then roughly two results two results per month so you get up to 25 for a single call which will consume 25 uh, api credits so if you run this against uh, 1000 uh, lines uh, that will mean a 25000 uh, api credits if you want to use just two api credits per uh, per call uh, per um, per row sorry then i advise you uh, to basically uh, make one API call uh, for the latest traffic and one API call for the traffic roughly one year ago. I say roughly one year ago uh, because usually I got 25 uh, results back in the array uh, of results uh, from uh, an API call and I decided to use uh, the 25th element in the array um, as the reference date for roughly one year ago, uh, which worked all the time. So uh, I kept this rule of uh, the 25th element in the array for my second API call. So this API call if, is for the latest date uh, when you will make uh, the call. And this second API call is for uh, the second uh, column uh, for the date roughly one year ago. And it's important to note that uh, in the in this um, in this body, you will uh, tell uh, uh, the, the module that you want to have the date in descending order for the latest date. Uh, so the, the the latest date coming first in descending order, and then you you just say page one size one, and for the the oldest date then you will have uh, to sort the result by date but by ascending order so the latest date uh, the oldest date sorry that can be retrieved uh, will uh, appear 
and will be uh, collected by this call. So sort by ascending, uh, ascending order. So yeah, I told you that this was the 25th element in the array. So in the, um, in the results of the API call, uh, as you can see here, you've got an example of uh, an array with two results, so number one, number two. And based on my experience, um, the second call, the second call basically retrieves uh, the twenty-fifth results in the array. But you don't have to specify this. You just have to say, "Okay, give me, um, uh, give me uh, the date, the first date uh, in the array by ascending order. That would be the oldest, and this one by descending order. That would be the latest." Okay, it seems to be a bit complicated, but that's pretty easy. Just follow what's on the screen and you will get the right dates. Then you've got to uh, update the cells in your Google Sheet with the dates that you got from the API call. Uh, so if you want to uh, specify the date uh, in, your, um, in your Google Sheet, uh, you make a call for the date, the latest date, and you make a call for the oldest date right here. Um, I mean, you don't make a call, you retrieve the data from the calls, sorry. Uh, you just uh, insert a module for the latest date, insert a module for the oldest date, and then you will have to update another cell in your row, that's the way it works in Integromat, with the latest traffic and the oldest traffic. Uh, if you've already used Integromat, it's pretty easy to understand. So uh, you select your sheet and then what you will do is, uh, and that's important to see how it goes, you will choose uh, the column. So for instance, this one is column B. You see column B for the latest date. And you will tell the system that you want to change uh, the um the row um uh, the row number uh dynamically row after row so the first row would be row uh, b2 then b3 uh the the first cell would be b b2 then there would be b3 b4 b5 so it will update the cells accordingly depending on the row uh where you just uh, run this uh, scenario and what you want to do is get the right uh, data for uh, the date. So you go to um, uh, this one, latest, uh, latest, uh, latest traffic, uh, and uh, in the data uh, you will just um, uh, find the right reference that you just you just click on the reference and it will just be inserted here. So that's the reference that I got by clicking here on, on, the, on the data. It's empty at the moment, so you don't see anything. But um, if you have run a test uh, with the API, you will get some data populated here uh, under data, and you will be able to choose the date. And then for the other one, for the traffic, you will be able to choose uh, the traffic right here. Okay, so you just select in the module what you want to uh, insert in this field. As you can see, for the traffic, it's column C, column C, and then the row will change depending on um, on the on the line. Uh, it will be also dynamic. Uh, so this will be C row row two, row three, row four, etc. For the oldest date, roughly one year ago, same concept. Uh, you will pick the right column and then tell the system to change the row dynamically. And you will go uh, to the other uh, HTTP module, the one for the oldest traffic. You will pick uh, in the data the right uh, element will be inserted here. Same here for uh, the traffic. Uh, the oldest traffic roughly one year ago. Um, what should I tell you? Uh, yes, um, I uh, forgot to mention that this row number, this dynamic piece here, row number, you will find it in the first module. So in the Google Sheet Watch Row module, this is where you've got to choose this row number and 
and uh, insert it here. So if I click here, you see, it will insert row number right here. And this green bit will dynamically change for each row. And then I inserted another uh, element, which was just this um, uh, this calculation, simple calculation in the last uh, cell of the row. Let me show you. Yes. So in the cell F, and then I change the row number dynamically, what I want to have is C with the row number changing divided by E with the row number changing. So all of those three elements will be the same, but dynamically changing for each row. And that's it basically. So when all of this is ready, the only thing you have to do after pasting, obviously, uh, the domains in the first column is run the scenario and it will do its job automatically, automatically for all uh, the rows. Then if you want to uh, highlight in green the, um, the positive progress, so above, uh, I think it was above one, uh, yeah, above above one, yeah. And if you want to highlight in red uh, the ones which are negative, you just uh, choose, um, I mean, you can do it in advance, you just select the old, um, and the old column here, so I can I can even do it by saying it goes to one thousand and one, I think. Yes, and then you just uh, click right, and you go to view more selection, conditional formatting, and as you can see here, if it's uh, greater or equal to one, it will be green. That's the way it is, and if it's if it's uh, sorry. Let's do it again to show the other one. And if it's less than one, it will be red. So that gives you um, dynamically um, a view on uh, on the different values here. Um, to be clear, I've already filtered my rows by um, descending order uh, in the progress uh, column. Um, when I ran this uh, integromat scenario, when the different lines uh, became uh, uh, populated, obviously there was uh, um, a succession of green and red, 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 green, 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 red. Uh, so <laughs> it's not uh, that all of the first lines were uh, green and all of the next ones were red. Here it's just filtered by uh, descending order in the progress uh, in the progress uh, uh, column. Uh, that's also important to note that to do this, uh, I guess you know it, but you've got to uh, choose uh, all of those um, all of those columns, and then go to uh, data and uh, create filter. I mean, here I I I can remove it and I can create it again. So that way I can. Uh, sort by a descending order this uh, uh, this column. Uh, another thing to note is that there's also uh, here um, a, a formula in uh, both cells which uh, which basically uh, uh, counts uh, here in uh, my uh, range in my uh, column F from 2 to uh, one, um, 1001 all uh, the numbers which are equal uh, or higher than one. And uh, then I divide it uh, by 1000, which is the amount of lines I have in my, uh, in my sample. And I transform it in, into a, a percentage to show you basically the percentage, sorry, the percentage of uh, the domains which grew or remained stable and a percentage of the domains uh, which lost traffic. This also changes dynamically uh, when you run uh, the scenario and when uh, the lines get populated by, um, uh, by the scenario. And the number is right only when you reach 1000 if you've decided to divide it by 1000 here. 
So um, yes, that's the way I um, I did it uh, using a list from uh, from built with and calling the API of Substat uh, via Integromat. Uh, that's the way you can do the job. If you want to keep uh, the results of a specific list, uh, I advise you to um, to copy uh, the sheet and, and rename it and keep uh, your master uh, Google Sheet, your, your main sheet, uh, to uh, create new experiments, to, to run new experiments. Um, because that way you don't have to change uh, the reference sheet in Integromat. You just keep the same sheet for, for your mini app if you want. And when it's done and, and you want to, to share the results with, with, with people like I did with this one, you just copy uh, the, uh, the sheet, um, you clone it, uh, you rename it and you, and you keep your master sheet clean and then you can empty the master sheet uh, and, uh, and paste, a new, uh, uh, paste a new list of URLs. Obviously, if you paste a new list of URLs, don't forget to adapt uh, the uh, the formula here. So if you've got uh, uh, 100 domains, uh, the number has to be uh, adapted to 100, obviously here. Um, and I didn't show you that, but at the very bottom of this, I um, I created uh, a sum of all uh, the traffic for today and. The oldest traffic and then this gave me uh, this basic formula this gave me the overall progress which was uh, here a decrease of the full uh, sample and this is unrelated to uh, the process but just to give you a quick uh, information about the results that we have here on the page uh, you can see that there are what I would call super outliers uh, in uh, in the leaderboard in the in this uh, in this table. Super outliers meaning website with a huge uh, jump in traffic uh, between uh, the traffic roughly one year ago and the traffic today here uh, close to two hundred thousand. The second one close to seventy thousand third one close to uh, a bit more than 50,000. Um, yeah, they can be lucky, uh, but usually it's a sign that something uh, what that I would call over-engineered in terms of SEO uh, took place on this site. Uh, this one, for instance, uh, was uh, built on an age domain, a, uh, an old domain, and there was also some heavy uh, link building performed to uh, bring uh, this traffic so high in such a short uh, time span. Uh, and uh, if you go to the website, that, that, that's quite funny because it used to be a website about uh, about bi biking or uh, bike hikes. Um, and, and today it's totally unrelated. It's uh, it's mass-produced uh, programmatic content. So yes, they, they reached apparently a, a huge traffic uh, in uh, less than one year, uh, but we can expect that there will be a steep uh, fall uh, within the next few weeks or few months uh, for this site. So it's a short-lived success. You can see two other sites from the list uh, which already uh, started going down uh, pretty quickly, as you can see for this one and for the next one, it's it's just uh, falling into the abyss. So this uh, can help you um, identify those outliers, and, uh, and you should be careful. Uh, for instance, if those websites are offered on a marketplace for sale, because uh, yes, uh, it's quite dangerous uh, in terms of uh, of acquisition. If you if you buy a site like this, you can expect a steep uh, fall uh, pretty quickly. So it's not a sustainable uh, a sustainable SEO strategy that they uh, uh, that they implemented. Um, but you can also have a look at the other websites and and and, and see better examples uh, of a more sustainable. Uh, uh, and more rational uh, growth curve, uh, I would say. So that's it. I hope that you learned something uh, via this uh, tutorial. 
I will leave a few links uh, below uh, to, to Integromat, to uh, the Substat API to build with also. So feel free to, uh, to run experiments uh, uh, yourself. Um, and if you have any questions, don't uh, hesitate to uh, um, type them in the comments below.